Hi there, and thanks for watching. I saw a build where someone was fighting against Riphide with the Stormcaller weapon mod, and I felt obligated to share my version of the Stormcaller build that I call Firestorm. I do have a stream of me doing a longer kind of walkthrough and explanation of this build that I'll be posting on YouTube. It's available on Twitch right now, but I'll just give you a quick overview and show you the damage potential against this particular boss. So basically, the Stormcaller ability doesn't do a lot of damage. 138 is really low, but the lightning that hits is considered an explosion. So not only is it increased by the Vulcan's detonator, but it will light enemies on fire, stacking up to three times. The whole premise of this build is to get into Stormcaller and stay in there as long as possible, get back there as quick as possible by getting additional mod power generated from that fire damage over time, and then either doing uh, like additional elemental damage to enemies or having a higher crit chance and crit damage against them by swapping out the Corrosive Aura for Hunter's Mark, really just floating around and devastating a lot of things. One of the main builds that I use for boss fights is here, which trades out the safety of staying away from enemies for a much higher damage output. And you're going to see against this particular boss, it is especially effective because they split. And so I'm applying corrosion and fire procs and that damage over time from the lightning aura all simultaneously to the enemies. It's really an effective build for any kind of crowd control or um, AOE environment where you can see a lot of enemies on the map and you want to hit them before they're aware of you. Or even when you have enemies trying to chase you down and you want to clear them out before the bosses are actively killing you. It's a good idea to pop a blood warp before you start your Stormcaller ability because it'll give you a little bit of passive healing. And the Stormcaller ability has a 50% damage reduction, so you will be taking less damage from enemies while it's active. That little healing from the blood warp is usually enough to cover you. Now you can see I'm corroding and firing up all these enemies. And, yeah, ignore the fact that they almost killed me. Don't call it ready. With Regenerator on, these enemies are still just getting annihilated from that fire damage prop. 